travelers, I'm really excited to help you guys today find out how to identify a registered taxi from an unregistered taxi when you want to take a taxi off the street here in Lima, Peru. So let's get started with today's video. The first thing that I want you to do is that when you are looking at this oncoming taxi, I want you to make sure that it has a taxi sign on the top, on the roof of the car, okay? This does not mean that it has a taxi sticker on the windshield that is not a registered taxi. It does not mean that it has a little taxi sign on the inside on the dashboard. That is not correct either. It has to have a taxi sign on the top of the car. Otherwise, don't even pay attention to it, dismiss it, and wait for the next car, okay? The next thing that I want you to do, number two, is that when you're looking at this car coming towards you, I want you to look at the license plate. And the license plate has to be an all white license plate with a yellow bar at the top and the little Peruvian flag on the corner. And what this means is just that it's a recently registered taxi. So you wanna to try to get on in those kinds of taxis. There are registered, whoa. <laughs> there are registered taxis which have all white license plates, um, but, you know, it hasn't been time for them to renew their license plate, so that's why they have the old ones. But just to be on the safe side for you, make sure that you go for the ones with the yellow bar at the top. That's what I try to do when I take a taxi off the street, and I recommend that to you guys as well. The third thing that I want you to do is that once you have identified that it has the taxi sign on top of the car, you've looked at the license plate on the front, once you kind of have the taxi driver pull up to you, you want to make sure that the license plate number that you saw on the front of the car also matches the license plates numbers that you see on the side of the car on the doors on both sides and as well as the back license plate all of these numbers have to be exactly the same and that's the third thing i want you to look out for the fourth thing that i want you to look out for is that the taxi driver should have a taxi driver id hanging from the rear view mirror thing on the front of the car now not everyone has their id hanging from the front but if you ask for it, they should be able to provide that for you. You know, they should take out their wallet and show you. Um, and just to be on the safe side, just because in Lima it's a bit hectic when you have all of this oncoming traffic and sometimes by having the taxi pull up to you and stop, uh, it's holding back traffic so everyone is getting a bit cranky and they're all honking at you to like hurry the hell up and go. And um, you don't you don't always see the, the taxi ID hanging from the, the mirror. So it's a bit too much to ask them, hey, can you pull out your wallet and show me your ID? You know, it's just better to see, to glance and see if they have it there or not. And if not, then it's just a bit easier, I think, to just tell them to go about their merry way until another one comes along. You will have taxis in poor conditions. Maybe they're not so nice on the outside, but they're legit if you have seen that they have the taxi sign on the top, the license plates on all sides and if they have the ID so it's really just a matter of preference if you want to get into those kinds of taxis or not it's up to you I try to get in nicer taxis but if I don't really have the time then I'm just gonna get in the darn taxi and go about my merry way just to let you know there are taxis that have a bit of a kind of cage around the driver and this is to keep the driver safe and also the passenger as well because you don't want the driver possibly turning around to harm you so it's a win-win situation for both people and I try to go for those taxis whenever possible if I see them coming along. Um, you can't always get them, but that's something to look out for and to take into consideration as well. So that's it for this video. I really hope that that has, I really hope that that has helped you uh, feel more comfortable with knowing how to identify a registered taxi from off the street. And in my next video, I'm gonna give you guys extra tips on how to stay safe when taking a taxi from the street. Um, there are a few little things that I've learned that I hope will help you and make you feel much safer about taking street taxis. If you have enjoyed the information shared with you today, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like. It really helps me out a lot if you guys do that for me, if you genuinely enjoy the information. And if you want to subscribe to my channel to learn more tips about life in Peru or how to get around Peru, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to stay in touch with me through social media, you're more than welcome to do that. So thank you so much for your time once again, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.